today's lesson, we're going to be looking at how to create an interactive game that you can use on Facebook and Instagram in stories. So if we have not yet met, I am Sally Sparks Cousins. I am your in-house Canva certified creative. And every week I come to you with a new tip or trick on how you can use Canva to grow your engagement, grow your email list and grow your business with designing inside of Canva. So today we're going to be creating an interactive game. Now, have you heard of the magic eight ball where you shake it, you ask it a question and it gives you a response? Well, we're going to create a game, a snapshot game where people can snap a photo to get their fortune read. So let's head on over into Canva now and get started. Here we are inside of Canva and the first thing you're going to do is type in the word story. And as you can see, Canva has got loads of different templates to start from. Just over here, you can see 84,000 different templates to choose from. Now, I do want to refine my search a little bit. So I'm actually going to type in the word magical because I am also looking for a magical theme because it's a magical eight ball. So let's see what theme. Oh, this one right here. I really like this one. So I'm going to choose this theme. And first off, what I'm going to do is delete the elements that I do not want. So I don't want the picture there. And I don't really want these pieces of text. Oh, I still like this little swirly thing. So I'm going to move that down here and move that there. And I think this one can come down here as well. Excellent. All right. Then what I'm going to do is type in what I want it to say, which is ask the crystal ball a question to learn your future. So now we've got that in, I'm going to resize it and actually grab this little guy and pop it there to learn your future. Beautiful. Now to center that, I'm going to go to the three little dots and look for position. And I'm going to center that to the middle of the screen. And then I'm going to bring that up underneath. And underneath, I'm going to write the words snap a photo to learn your future. And again, I'm going to resize that. So it sits well, pop it to get your future red, beautiful. And again, I'm going to center it, position and center, lovely. And let's bring those ones down here as well. All right, now it is a future. So let's look for a crystal ball. So I'm going to type in crystal ball and choose a crystal ball. Oh, we need to go under elements and type in crystal ball and scroll through here and we can see there's one I really like right here. Now, if we look, it says the word free, but if we hover over this one next to it, it says the word pro, which means you will need a pro account or you can pay per individual image. So I'm going to choose this free option here. And I'm going to resize, make it nice and big because this really is the central point of the design. And again, just zoom back out and to make sure it's positioned, I'm going to go position center. Love it. And let's give it a little bit of space. Just bring this on down like that. Beautiful. Now this isn't very sparklified, which means it's not my branding colors. Um, so I do want to add my branding colors to this. So I'm going to push R for rectangle. And of course, we love purple here in the sparkle world. So I'm going to make it purple, but I do really like those trees in the background. So I'm going to make this see through. So it adds a bit of a purple tinge to it, but we can still see the trees in the background. And I'm going to then position this to the back and resize it to fit around the outside. Awesome, that looks super cool. All right, now we can see here that there's no timer on this page. I actually need to ensure that there is an animation. So the first thing I'll do is click R for rectangle again, but I, and then I'm gonna to go to animate and then just choose any animation you like. And then it will animate that one individual element. So make sure you're on one element and click animate. 
And then when I click away and then click away again in the center here, it says that this element is lasting for five seconds, but I only want it to last for 0 0.1 seconds. So just click on it and change it to 0 0.1 just like that. Now that will give an, um, an animation, but we don't want to see this element. Uh, so I am going to come in here and I'm going to just bring its transparency all the way down to zero so we can't actually see it. So we can see now that is one second. I will also move that to the back so I don't keep accidentally clicking on it. Awesome, there we go. All right, now what we're going to do is I'm going to Click on that and I'm going to copy. So right click, copy, and then right click and I can paste. Now move that text up into there. So I've got the right typography, the right typeface. And did you know I searched and there are 20 different responses to the Magic 8 Ball? So we're gonna put in the very first response, which is, It is certain. Now I want these to be in all capital letters. So I'll go to the little more button and look for this element right here with the upper and lowercase button. Click on that. And then that has created this to be in all capital letters. But we can see here, if I just resize that, and if you drag it out from the corner, you can actually change the size of the type just by dragging from the corner. I want it to pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna add effects. So I'm gonna to go to effects and add a drop shadow. Now, if we just zoom in using this little scroll along the bottom here, you'll see that it is a white drop shadow. What I want is a darker drop shadow. So I'm gonna click on color and I'm gonna choose a really dark color here. So now it really it does pop, but then also I want to add less transparency. So I don't want it so see-through, so it really does pop out. And you can also choose, you know, how offset you want it, what direction you want it. And then when you're happy, I'm just gonna close that up and bring this back so I can see the full design on the screen. And if we look for those little lines, we can center. That's what's really cool about um, Canva is looking for those little lines that pop up to let us know if we've centered or we can position. Now we have got 1.1 second and we have one image designed. But the thing is, is we need more than one image. We need 20. So we'll come up the top here to the duplicate and I'm going to duplicate out 20 different pages. All right, now we have 20 pages. So let's scroll back up the top. Now I'm going to need to go through and add all of the 20 responses. So I've got the first one in. I'm going to come down here to the second one and I'm gonna slowly start typing all of these in. Once I'm done, I'll be back to you and, uh, and we'll talk about what to do next. Okay, we've done all 20, but we've got to add one with a bit of sparkle because that's how we roll here in the sparkle world. So I'm going to add a 21st page and I'm going to say Outlook is sparkly. <laughs> oh, I've got to put an exclamation mark there. All right, so uh, excellent. All right, so now I have 21 pages and we can see at the top here it's 2.1 seconds long and if we come back to the top or anywhere really, we just click that little play button and we can see what it looks like. Looks pretty cool, right? But it's only 2.1 seconds. So first off, we're going to download the first version. So we want to make sure it's set to MP4 and we make sure all 21 pages are selected and click done and whoops, and then click download. Now, as this is downloading, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what about your niche? You may not wanna do a crystal ball. I just wanted to make this a little generic, but think about what it is you do. 
if you're a chef, for example, or you teach people cooking, maybe it's what should I have for dinner? And you put images of different types of meals like salad or a roast chicken or roast lamb or maybe a salad or maybe you want to have ice cream for dinner might be the question. Or if you're in real estate, it could be where will your next home be or what is your dream home? Or maybe you're in health and fitness and it's like what type of exercise should I be doing today? So you could do walking and running and dancing and whatever you like. So think about your particular niche and how you can incorporate this style of design using your niche to keep your people coming back and clicking. Awesome. All right, here we go. The design has now been downloaded. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go back to the home button. But this time, instead of typing in the big one in the middle, I'm going to type in the create a design and type in just the word story. You'll see it gives us Facebook story, Instagram story, LinkedIn story. They're all the same size, 1080 by 1920. So just choose one of those for a blank design. Then you'll head on over to um, uploads, upload your image. So navigate to where you saw that image, select the image um, or the video and upload it. Now, once it's uploaded, you can bring it in and you will see, there it is. You want to resize it just like so to fit the full screen. All right, push, push the play button. You'll see you got your 2.1 seconds right there. Awesome. Now what you'll do is you're going to duplicate. So we want to get it to 15 seconds because Instagram is 15 seconds for each of the stories. So I'm gonna keep duplicating that and as close as I'm gonna get there is 14.1 second. Excellent, and now I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm just gonna download this, all seven pages and click download. So here we are on my phone. I'm just gonna check, I've sent it over to my phone. We can see it's working well in photos right there. I'm going to head to my Instagram account. Now on my Instagram account up the very top, uh, you'll see the plus button on the top left hand side. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click add to story. Now that I'm in my story, we can see there is my image that I have and we're ready to post that. But before you post it, you need to ensure that you tag me. So you'll see along the top, it's a little harder to see because of the dark design, but you'll see that there is like the type tool button. And when you click on the type tool, you can click the at symbol. So click on the at button and it'll start to shortlist and you just start typing in my name. Now, of course I can't tag myself. So I'm just gonna type in my, my daily doodles. <laughs> <laughs> and tag myself there. Now this is so that when you share and just kind of put it somewhere on the design, you can make it really big or small or kind of hide it in the background. But it's through that tagging that will allow me to actually share the design. I won't be able to share your design onto mine if you haven't tagged. All right, and the other thing to do is you can also use the hashtag. Make sure when you are sharing for the competition that when you share this design into the Facebook group, you do use the hashtag. Um, now, this is what we do now to find. We just push the, the off button and the top button on an iPhone. I'm sure on an Android, you'll know what to do. And we snap a photo, just like that. There we go. And oh, I needed to ask it a question. <laughs> um, will I have a fun filled day snap a question and then click on it my sources say no oh I don't know if I like that answer maybe I'll ask again later <laughs> but there you go that's how you will create a story and make sure that you tag me so that I can share it onto my platform because you know together we rise right and if I can share and maybe get some traffic across to you guys that would be really really awesome for you and uh, also you're tagging me so maybe some traffic will flow will come over to us as well also if you want to try out Canva for free for 45 days we do have the Canva 45 day free trial available right there at canvamadeeasy.com forward slash 45 free and you can play with all of the amazing pro features for 45 days you won't regret it it is the most awesome program. And if you're not sure how to use Canva, then come here and join our Canva Made Easy training where I will teach you how to use all of the different features inside of Canva to truly give you success in designing a really professional brand so that you can stand out 
in a crowded market when you put your brand out all across social media. All right, as always, guys, I'm Sally. Thanks so much for joining us. Make sure you give us a like, a follow, and a share, and uh, never let anyone dull your sparkle, and I'll see you next time.